Good evening, I'm Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This, the site of our championship fight. 12 rounds of lightweight action. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. Able to get rid of that one. On the mark with a straight left hand. A glancing blow downstairs. The killer's turning into a star in this sport. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see. What should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight. Can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? Bad Intentions is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Gets rid of that body shot. Halfway through this round here. Nice. A thudding left by the killer. Bad intentions is defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Oh! Oh, boy, that right hand got right to him and put him down. Two, three, four. Get up, damn it! So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Parks' defense is paying off now. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Final 10 seconds. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fight the guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. What an excellent two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Bad Intentions is trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Bad Intentions is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Parks. Very accurate two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. And that's the end of round two. Bad Intentions, his attitude in that last round really paid off. You saw he was the much busier fighter. The killer's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Oh, good exchange there. Laying 
a trap there for a moment and then scoring that counter punch by Parks. Two snapping jabs by bad intentions. Good flush, straight left hand. Nothing there on the punch by Parks. The killer's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Little head hunting with the left. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Parks. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Parries that punch intended for the head. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Parks is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. The killer's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. And that's the end of round three. Round number four is underway as we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see what a difference the knockdown can make. Parks' fans have to be loving this early lead. Yeah, but with that power, you know, he can make a mistake, and he can win the fight. His opponent can't afford any mistakes, and not any more mistakes. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by bad intentions. Look at that combination by Parks. Parks is giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. Come on, come he comes on. back with the left hand again. Way through round number four. Keep it tight, side to side. <laughs> Solid left hand to the head. <laughs> Fires right back at him. Not able to land the headshot. Bad intentions is ruined with that punch right there. Now this is a byproduct of his energy level being low. He's desperate, so he ties up his opponent. Well, this is part of being a fighter. This is part of being a pro in anything you do. There's times where it's all going your way. There's times where you got to make it go your way. You got to make an adjustment. He's doing what he has to do. The killer's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Yeah. Bad Good intentions line. is okay. met by a left hand. Please. Wow, saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashballs going off in his head. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Bad intentions is not sticking to his style at all. He got away from what had gotten him in trouble. Remember, he was rocked earlier. Yeah, it's like being in the Grand Prix. You know, you're in that race, and all of a sudden you pull into the pit, and you say, you know what? I got to change my tires. You know, I'm just not getting traction out here. You know, I almost went into a wall. Well, he's changing his tires, changing his plan.
would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, yeah. I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Nowhere close that punch by bad intentions. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the killer. Ten seconds of this fifth round. The killer's in position to pull this out, and you can see his corner man is telling him just that. Don't worry about the fact that it's a close fight. Go out there and win it here in these later stages. Blocked by bad intentions. Watch the hook. Able to show you his blocking ability. Side to side. Counter that attack. Halfway through round six. There's the combo downstairs. Right to the belt line. Parks is doing damage on the inside with the uppercut here. Yeah, but he's got to be careful he don't go to the well once too often because, and he's got to be careful that he stays true to his technique because if he drops that hand for the uppercut just a little bit, there's going to be an opening for his opponent to counter him. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Get out of the corner. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. The killer's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Bad intentions is hit by a counter punch there. You're still not moving. How about that left hand? Move. Good way to protect the midsection. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you are forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Parks. Nice strike after catching one by Parks. <laughs> Oh, he just misses with that headshot. 
He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Bad attentions. He's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Parks' momentum is starting to show now. Look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number eight. You know, I know why, too, because I eavesdropped a little bit in between the rounds in the corner, and I heard them tell him, hey, come on, pick it up a little bit now, because otherwise he's going to get confident. And guess what? When you hear that, you don't want the other guy getting confident. The killer's opponent has to be thinking to himself, how can I get this guy off of him? How can he, Teddy? Well, the one thing he can do is don't wait until he's on you. <laughs> it's too late then. As he's coming forward, sidestep him a little bit before it's too late and catch him. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Bad intentions is effort. Oh, he can big, big shot he just scored with. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over. This fight is over. Bad Intentions is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner and still champion of the world, the killer Parks. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. The killer's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts.